Hey YouTube, Nitro Rednecks here. Uh, today's project is uh, the power steering pump on my uh, my K20. Uh, so what I did, I uh, here's the old one here, big greasy mess, and uh, the new one that I bought comes with just the pump itself. You have to reuse your reservoir. So what I did, I cleaned up all my reservoir and everything, and got it all ready. Uh, I should have took a video of uh, uninstalling this. Um, basically, they're a bitch to fucking get off. But uh, what I did, I uh, I made this sloppy fucker. As you can see, the big blob weld on this side and on that side. The reason I did that is because I couldn't weld on the inside of it. I needed that to actually grip the pulley itself. There's actually a proper uh, machine you can buy for these. But so what this is, I shove this on. Uh, anyway, uh, I had to beat it on with the hammer a little bit. I made it that tight. So you put this on, and then. You screw that down and that pulls your pulley off. Now your, the tool, the proper tool that you're supposed to get for this, uh, it comes with the proper pull, puller and it also comes with the, the machine that presses back on the pulley. But what I did, I just uh, I used a vise, just sat that in the vise and, uh, and pressed the pulley back on. So. Here's the reinstall. This one already came with the everything, so basically uh, I had this all apart because I had to uh, for pressing it on. I guess I had to, I took this all all out. So you have that plunger with the spring on it. Then you have this here. Now, if this doesn't come with the the new, uh, uh, whatever the hell this is, you have to change the O-rings, and then you can see that little hole right here, just underneath the O-ring, you have to make sure that's clean and free of debris, make sure that porthole is clean, so, as you can see, there is a whole shit ton of O-rings, so, I don't even know what O-rings I'm supposed to use, but, I know these ones here, a little bit thicker and it resembles the o-rings on the other pump the old pump I took off so I put a thick o-ring here a thick o-ring here see these ones here they're really really thin there's two of those also I don't know maybe a different application <clears throat> so same thing here I don't know and one's a little bit thicker, so throw one of those in there. So, o ring here, o ring here, o ring here, and uh, oh, yeah, also with this machine here, uh, if you have to reuse your old one, there is an o ring right here. This one, I believe, and make sure you change that o ring. <coughs> So, basically, since I have all that off, I'm just going to put it in the vise, and take your cover, you want to line that big hole up with the big hole. Just like that. So I'll wind up, well, somewhat, I guess. Oh shit, I went and I hit it. You gotta make sure these O-rings stay in place, or they're not gonna seal against your case. Reservoir, whatever you wanna call it. There. So, uh, I'm gonna, 
this fitting down real nice and tight. What there is is there, uh, there's a rubber right here, another O-ring, and that has to sit down inside. So I'm going to seal that inside and, oh, here it is, all together. Got the nuts and everything in, or the bolts, and that uh, plug and everything down there. Um, the problem I'm having now is uh, the bracket. The bracket fits in between between the pulley here, and uh, I thought I would have had enough room to put the bolts in, <clears throat> but uh, I don't. So I have to use the puller I made again. So I'm going to make a, this part of the video and show you how it works. Basically, I put the screwdriver in there. I'm going to try to set this here and see if, uh, as long as it don't fall. Put your, uh, well, me, electric ratchet. I made this tight enough to the, you have to tap it on with the hammer. Tap off the hammer. You know what? The money I saved by building this took me a whole, you know, 15 minutes. I'm happy with it. <clears throat> so, now I'll put my bracket on. Alright, bracket's all on. Basically what you want to do before you put this on, I got some uh, honey goo, just spray a little bit of that, any lubricant will work. Alright, so what I did, I just took the hammer and uh, just did the one, and I just tapped and tapped and tapped till it was straight flush right now. So what I'm going to do, I got this big nut, fits nicely. I get this, sit that on top. I got a, it's not the right bolt. I got the, this bolt here, threads in. There we go. So, basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the ratchet and uh, I'm going to squeeze down on that and make sure it's uh, sitting where it needs to be and that'll be that and there you go as you can see it's not flush anymore I just put it down a little bit further but uh, make sure you don't go too far because if you, you push it down too far this here won't turn you get binded up inside so uh that's that. Any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Like and share if uh, this was helpful. Have a great day, guys.